What's up everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and this year in 2022, we have decided that we're gonna launch a couple new series of uh, videos here on the channel other than just listings that we represent uh, that kind of help you out as a tiny houser or aspiring tiny houser. And uh, one of those series is gonna be Tiny House Gadgets. And over the years we have reviewed quite a few gadgets that are per pertaining to the, uh, a tiny house or living in a tiny house. And um, so we've done that over the years, but now we're making it official. We're going to uh, review things that we think will be helpful for you uh, living in a tiny house. And uh, today is one of them. So let's get started. So according to statistics, about 40% of the world's population every day drinks a cup of coffee. And in America, that number jumps up to 65%. So 65% adults uh, here in the United States drink a cup of coffee, at least one cup of coffee every day. So that's a pretty big number. Uh, and I'm one of them. I drink one a cup, maybe sometimes two. And um, so the problem is, for me personally, I don't need a coffee pot, I don't need a whole deal, uh, like a whole pot just sitting there, right? Um, so this past Thanksgiving, my brother uh, visited me from Colorado and uh, he turned me on to one of these guys. It's called an AeroPress. Uh, there's probably a chance that a lot of you have heard of this before and there's a good chance that a lot of you haven't. Um, but it's been very synonymous, it's been used a lot uh, with people who travel, uh, you can live the nomadic lifestyle because they're just so compact. And uh, so the, the, definitely what is true, whenever you get come across something that's compact, uh, it could be very useful in the tiny house world because obviously space is a premium. Not only is this thing very compact and it basically is just a plunger. It's very primitive technology, but cool the way it works. Uh, it makes an amazing cup of coffee if you do it correctly. Um, so we'll get into that. I don't wanna get into too many techniques because I actually made the mistake I'm going on YouTube and looking at some of the techniques and people get very, very serious about this. They weigh out the coffee to the grams and I don't know, my mind just doesn't work that way. Uh, but I did want to share this with you and show you how it works and maybe just brew a cup of coffee and I uh, go over a couple of the details because I have been using this for a couple days now and I really, really love it. And um, yeah, so we'll just get into it. So the way it works is there's two main components. Uh, there's the plunger part, which has a seal on it, which is very tight. And then there's the part where you actually put the coffee in and then at the bottom this turns and there's a there's two different types of filters and I'll show you that. The main filter that most people use are these paper filters. They will act very similar to a uh, regular coffee pot filter. Uh, these are just little discs that fit down into the bottom but I opted to go with the metal one uh, because it's reusable and you know, I won't be purchasing any of these. It just came with the initial, but you know, it's more eco-friendly and you can just wash it and um, each time, and, and it's super, as you can see there, very, very fine. So nothing's getting through there. But the way it works is you put the filter in and then you put the top in and you screw it on. So I just put some hot water on. So while that is heating up, I will show you the next step. Um, you take a, your favorite coffee. I use Pete's. I use Pete's Coffee uh, because when I used to live in Denver, Colorado, there was a Pete's Coffee shop right down below the loft that I lived in. And I just thought Pete's was so good. Uh, they have really good coffee and the people are really nice. So I guess I've stuck with that brand. But anyways, uh, the official count is you take, this comes with a scooper, the AeroPress does. And so it calls for one and a half scoops of these, but I think that's too much. I do basically just one. You stick it in there, just fill it up. Now the next thing you're supposed to do is kind of shake it to make sure everything's level. I don't know if you have to get that fancy with it, but I do. Now the next thing you want to make sure you do is you have a very sturdy coffee cup. And I'm not the one who says that, the actual owner of, or the inventor of AeroPress says that. You want a nice sturdy mug like this. And you put it on top just like that. Okay, so once your water is hot, you want to pour this up to about the one mark. So once the water gets to about one, you'll pour it right there. Then another accessory that comes with AeroPress is this little stir. So you just put it in there and you stir for about 10 seconds. Now from what I've seen, the formulas for doing this is all over the place. But if you're making a single cup, which is what we're doing now, uh, I personally pour it up to about three. Then immediately I take the plunger, put it in there. Now the owner of AeroPress recommends you take about 20 seconds to do this. And you plunge very gently. 
So over the course of 20 seconds, you're just going to plunge it all the way down. And for whatever reason, I'm not completely sure. I know there's a lot of science to it. Maybe you can leave a comment down below and let me know why, or let us all know why. But um, this cup of coffee is so smooth. There's no acidity to it. Just by the way this is brewed, I believe. I think it's the pressure. Uh, you can also do this cold press. Um, you just have to do it a slightly different way. Uh, you can look that up on YouTube. But once this bottoms out, once you can go no longer, that's when you know you're done. You can hear that. Squeeze it out. And that's it. Then you're left with a beautiful cup of coffee. Now I know for a lot of you folks, that's it. Coffee, black, good to go. For me, I like a little bit of creamer. And I'm vegan, personally, so I found this. I thought I'd share this uh, um, creamer with you. And by the way, I'm not paid for any of these, uh, the AeroPress or Silk or anyone like that. Uh, but I want to show you this one. It's by a company called Silk and it's completely vegan. It's the best I've found so far. A little pricey, uh, but you know, hey, you got to splurge on some things, right? Good cup of coffee is one of them. All right, so now for the official taste test. Uh, so we're going to bring our tiny house mascot in and see what he thinks. I want you to let us know what you think about this cup of coffee. All right, that's a no-go. All right, so when you're done brewing your cup of coffee, uh, you just expel what AeroPress calls the puck. But I'm gonna do it here so you can see it. And I guess that makes sense because it looks like coffee puck when you're done. <laughs> then cleanup's really easy. You just wash the filter if you have a reusable. Otherwise, you throw it away. And you rinse out the chamber on the inside and you're ready for the next cup. All right, so thanks for watching the video. Uh, this was the first video and hopefully a long series of tiny house gadgets, products we think that uh, you would enjoy and could use and be benefit from uh, living the tiny house lifestyle. In future videos, it won't be only myself, but it'll be other people from Tiny House Listings team. Um, so if you like this video, just let us know about uh, giving us a thumbs up and definitely subscribing and leave a comment below if you have any thoughts uh, for future videos. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.